Coming up on this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk, the one and only program that focuses on abilities and sports. On the Gridiron, we talk about accessible sports, accessible stadiums, as well as stadium food. All that and much more when Gridiron Sports Talk starts right now. Stay on the Gridiron. Welcome to this edition of Great Iron Sports Talk, the one and only program that focuses on accessible sports. And on this show, we talk about accessible stadiums as well as stadium food. I'm Lauren Seiler. I would like to thank our um, partners in uh, Great Iron Sports Talk, um, Orca Media, as well as um, the Division for the Blind Vermont, the Association for the Blind Vermont, and many, many, many others. Let's begin. On this um, edition, the first thing we talk about, stadium food. Stadium food, um, even though this show might cross over at some point to able to cook, but stadium food um, has been a part of um, going to football and other stadiums. Um, on your screen, um, which um, we've switched to right about now. Um, hot dogs used to be called Frankfurters. So as you can see by your prices, this is 1967 uh, Shea Stadium. Uh, Shea Stadium is in New York, in, uh, in Queens, New York. And uh, hot dogs are 25 and 35 cents. Hamburgers are 50 cents. Uh, a knish, which is um, looks like a pillow and uh, uh, has potato in it and other fillings, that's uh, 25 cents, and the list goes down. Um, but we, but inflation has been crazy as of late. Um, this is a little bit of a commentary. You can't even, uh, for a family of four, going to a stadium can cost you $500 or more. Um, but, you know, talk about inflation. And uh, back then they used to smoke cigars, so cigars are uh, 40 cents. Hot chocolate was 25 cents for a big cup, 20 cents for a small cup. Potato chips were 25 cents. Uh, popcorn was um, 25 cents, and the list goes on. So let's go to Yankee Stadium. if it has an old menu. Um, if I can get that. Oh, here we go. Well, this is according to ESPN, so we can show this. Um, we'll just courtesy ESPN. Um, Well, according to this, oh, here, here we go. So there's an old um, article here, according to ESPN Radio, 104.5 FM. Um, and we can kind of show this. So a hero sandwich at Yankee Stadium was $1.35. Shea Stadium was was a uh, dollar. Okay, so they compared a uh, ham sandwich with 75 cents. And uh, $1.35 at Yankee. Egg salad sandwich was 80, 65 cents and $1.20 at Yankee. And the list goes on there. Uh, a year book um, was $2 and $1.25 at uh, Shea. So an autograph ball, if you want an autograph ball, was $4.90 $4 and $4 at Shea. Um, but an autograph ball now is thousands of dollars. This is coming from the New York Times um, 
uh, popcorn was uh, 40 cents, peanuts was 40 cents, uh, and uh, Cracker Jacks was 35 cents, and so on and so forth. So this is... Um, uh, these were some of the prices that you that you would have to uh, deal with. Um, you know, times have changed. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, let me tell you now, uh, so you guys um, who are watching or listening, um, how much are Yankee tickets now? Um, how much are Yankee tickets So, <clears throat> if you go to, oh, this is 2022. Uh, this is two years ago. So, um, according to MLB, um, let's get out of the cookie. Okay, so... According to that, individual game tickets um, can run, it doesn't say the amount, I'll get to the amount in a minute. Um, so let, let's, let's, uh, let's go to, It depends on the it depends on the stadium on how much uh baseball tickets are, but just a, uh the average ticket for a major league baseball game is fifty three dollars. Weekday games and early season matchups are known as great deals. So um just so you know, try to get a matinee game. Um, but the, the, the cheaper seats are sometimes best. My suggestion though, um, if you are needing a wheelchair seat, uh, you might want to ask the individual stadium, uh, it is against the law not to have an accessible seat. Um, but it, the average Ticket price is fifty three dollars and up. If it's if it's um, if it's World Series, you're gonna pay a lot of money. Um, but uh, now let's get to accessible stadiums in What stadiums are accessible through accessible uh, transportation? Every ballpark from from oldest to newest, they have to be um, accessible. So, and the reason why they're accessible uh, through transportation. Um, let me see, can I, is there a list here? Uh, oh, yes. So, there's a list. Um, let me get to a, a major list, not, uh, not on um, list accessible. Oops, accessible baseball stadiums. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to get a, 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 okay. There, the, all stadiums now have to be um, accessible. So um, basically, 
Hey, let me go. According to USA Today, let's use this here. Uh, um, no, that's rankings. Uh, let me. Let's go to the baseball parks here. M L B accessible, disabled friendly. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, here, here we go. Access guide, this is exactly what I'm looking for. The access guide for people with disabilities for the MLB. Um, this is coming for, well, this is coming from the Oakland A's. Um, but, uh, we, you know, we can use this, um, as an example. All, um, stadiums are mandated to have accessibility, uh, situations. So, if you're out in California, let's say, and you need, um, uh, accessible accessibility um, access guide for guests with disabilities the Oakland A's are fully committed uh, fully committed to um, have accessibility for all disabled guests accessible parking accessible seating companion seating ADA assistance so let's uh, click here and this is very important what an ADA assistant is. The um, Oakland A's team specialized service dedicated in helping guests <clears throat> for uh, special assistance for all games. This, the team staff is well trained, dedicated to the needs of guests. These services are free of charge um, and they help guests in the following ways. Wheelchair escorts to entry gates, in seating sections, wheelchair escorts to the um, from the from, from probably from the bus. Bart is the bus system, and the seating sections, golf cart sh shuttle service around the exterior of the stadium, transportation assistance for the visually impaired, the elderly and disabled or pregnant fans can use. This service by asking a staff member who will contact the ACE team for you. Guests can schedule a wheelchair or golf cart pickup um, outside each gate. Uh, and for more information on this, you can contact um, the Oakland Athletics um, for more information. And their website is www.mlb. Uh, athletics ballpark disability just in case you're in California and as you can see here um, if you need um, alternative formats uh, um, you know schedules and stuff like that you can contact them there uh, now uh, in terms of Braille um, well, assistive living de li listening devices can be found outside uh, the guest um, office. Uh, the guest office, and if you need um, captioning, closed captioning is available at no charge and through the um, Major League Baseball application. Download the application um, on your Android or Apple mobile device from Google Play, and you can uh, find that. Um, if you have dietary, um, dietary restrictions, diabetic, stuff like that, uh, they allow, some stadiums allow to bring food and beverages as long as um, it's posted within the stadium guidelines. Um, Concessions, uh, the Coliseum was built uh, in 1966, therefore the concession stands are not ADA accessible. However, the staff 
at these stands can help accommodate um, disabled guests coming out of the stand necessary to assist them. And we have all of all our uh, ADA accessible. They have all all their um, accessible people to help. And there's um, more. Oh, I didn't read this list. This is very important. Uh, there again, there's accessible parking, accessible seating, companion seating, ADA assistance, alternative format materials, dietary restrictions. Uh, emergency evaluation, if you need that, uh, first aid, um, interpreting services, uh, if you need a nurse, they can provide one for you, uh, if you need restrooms. Uh, now, this is important for people with autism. Sensory suite. The sensory suite, S-E-N-S-O-R-Y suite, is located... Uh, in Plaza Suite 71, this room is to provide a safe, calming environment for guests feeling overwhelmed or overstimulated. If you are, um, if you are a person with autism, it is meant for a temporary space to guests to utilize. Guests need space is accompanied by three additional guests in their party. After 20 minutes, guests can return to the ticketed seating location. Um, Granted permission, and you can be granted permission to stay longer. Service dogs and miniature horses are allowed. This is something new. Um, animals in training are also allowed. Uh, we do not have a pet relief area. If your pet needs to go to the bathroom, that's a problem. Um, and there's an accessible seating chart uh, stating Stadium seating chart, and just go down here and you can find it. Um, uh, all suites have wheelchair lifts. This is just an example of how stadiums are accessible. Accessible seats are available in the following seating areas, and you can check there. Um, accessible ticket windows. Um, self ticket self uh, self-ticket kiosks and so on. Um, if you need wheelchair services, it could be provided for you um, just by clicking there. So for more more information on um, the Oakland A's or examples of accessible stadiums, you can go to www.majorleaguebaseball.com. Uh, that's www.majorleaguebaseball.com. Um, and um, while we're on the topic of um, accessible stadiums, um, Okay, so the reasons why stadiums are accessible is because accessible stadiums demonstrate the commitment to uh, equality and non-discrimination while, um, or which can um, enhance a stadium's reputation and brand value. Uh, the legal compliance is um, the Americans with Disabilities Act requires new stadiums to be accessible for people with disabilities so they so them and their families and friends can enjoy equal access and um, uh, recreation and leisure so accessible stadiums according to the um, ADA.gov the Americans with Disabilities Act requires new stadiums and accessible for people with disabilities. The, um, and the document here that can be found at on the archives of the ADA at uh, ADA.gov, ADA.gov. Wheelchair accessible seating is required. For at least 1% of the seating must be wheelchair seating locations. Each wheelchair seating location is an open 
level space that can accommodate one person using the wheelchair and smooth and stable slip resistant surface. Accessible station, the accessible seating must be an integral part of a seating plan so that people using wheelchairs are not isolated and um, spectators and their friends or family. Um, there are removable folding seats. So for more information on this, um, www.archive, um, it's archiveada.gov, www.archiveada.gov forward slash stadium. And uh, for more information, on stadium food and how you can access that, contact your local stadium. Um, and uh, if you have dietary restrictions, so on and so forth. Um, on this particular show, uh, it was we talked about uh, yesteryear and but the importance of accessible stadiums. Uh, this uh, sports show is important also to community media because not very many people have access to this type of uh, information or might not know about uh, things like accessible stadiums and um, accessible teams and uh, so on and so forth. So for more information on this um, topic that you have seen today, you can go to www.orcamedia.com Dot net that is orcamedia.net or anything else that you would like to see on Orca Media with Ableton on air and our other shows you can go to www.orcamedia.net and uh, for those that want to contact me uh, specifically and um, ask about uh, doing a show um, our new um, our new uh, uh, our new email address for Gridiron Sports Talk is Gridiron Sports Talk at gmail dot com. That's Gridiron Sports Talk at gmail dot com. And again, if you want more information on Orca Media and Gridiron Sports Talk, you can go to www.orcamedia.net that's orcamedia.net thank you for uh, watching Gridiron Sports Talk I'm Lauren Seiler stay on the Gridiron see you next time